Uh, this press conference from uh, the Columbus quarterfinals, NCAA lacrosse championships. Uh, Coach Tillman, if you don't mind opening up with a few uh, opening comments. Sure, uh, obviously excited for another week together with this group. Um, you know, really proud of our guys of how, you know, they prepared, uh, staring down the defending national champions two time. Uh, Lars and his staff do such a great job, uh, and they're very, very talented. So, uh, tough draw in the quarters, um, but uh, our guys rose to the challenge. Um, I think the guys forced us to work that much harder to prepare. Uh, but uh, started a little uh, sluggish, but I thought as the game went on, the guys got better. Um, we got more into rhythm, uh, very unselfish. Uh, I thought we played better off the ground um, as the game, game went on. Uh, I thought Luke was terrific in the middle of the field. Um, defensively, those guys were terrific. Um, I thought they executed Coach Bernhardt's plan really well. Um, you know, Logan was really good in, in the goal. Um, and then offensively, they, you know, threw some zone, which, you know, Coach Benson had a good idea that they might do. And so, it, although it, at times we were a little bit off balance, I just felt like those guys were always really poised and, and just really organized. So, again, just thankful for another week. We know we got a big challenge ahead of us, but uh, um, it's kind of apropos for this time of year. Great. Coach, thank you. Uh, we'll open up the floor for questions. Uh, front row, Mike. Uh, hey, Jess, can you talk about slowing down their offense, but in particular, Connor Schellenberger obviously came off a big game, had a huge tournament last year. Uh, what were some of the keys to slowing them down offensively? Uh, yeah, I mean, the scout gave us a great look all week. Ryan Syracuse uh, just giving us great looks uh, constantly, you know, kind of mimicking what they do, that fast-paced offense, uh, which really helped us. And then, you know, just playing team defense, we have such a supportive group with a lot of veterans on uh, that team, so it makes it really easy uh, to lean on that experience when um, you know things aren't necessarily going your way, and it just makes it the game slow down a little bit. Um, and so just being able to lean on a lot of those older guys is really useful. Hi, I'm Merlin wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get the lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Uh, go ahead, over to the right. Go ahead, second row. Here. Yeah, uh, Coach, a couple things. I don't know if you're a mad genius or not, but when you invited the press to practice on Wednesday, the first segment was the offense played defense, the defense played offense. And it happened today. You had the whole offense at the end of the first half. We'll stop on defense. Yeah, uh, you know, Virginia does so many things well. They push the ball in transition really well, and at times they keep you on. And so we ask a lot of our, our offensive players, guys like Anthony, and those guys are so selfless um, and humble guys that they're like, all right, if I need to go back and that helps, um, then that's what I'm willing to do. And we have a lot of confidence in those guys when they go back. Um, and part of it is just, they just need experience. Um, so the fact that we get buy-in from them goes a long way. Again, that's kind of the mantra of this group. Everybody's trying to do whatever they can do to help the team win in any way. Um, and again, it's a credit to those guys, but you kind of have to, um, you know, just Sean does such a good job with their offense and their early offense, and they're so dangerous. You just can't give them transition. You saw that last week. Uh, they got, I think, six goals out of transition, and we just couldn't, you know, we were like, we can't give them that many opportunities because they're going to make a pay. With Viner Forgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, Try Viner Four Gates, where making your company work is our primary mission. Go ahead, for, uh, for Anthony. Um, you know, the offense started out a little bit slower than usual. You know, they were starting to have guys like Logan, uh, Keegan, etc. Um, then you kind of stepped up and you know, started scoring uh, in that first quarter. And how much do you think your past uh, postseason experience really helped you, you know, in a moment like this? I mean, I think we have a really experienced group. Uh, we have six guys out there all working just to put the ball in the back of the net and be anyone at any time. And uh, also just credit to the scout guys all week, just getting us ready. Those guys put pressure on us day in and day out. And uh, I mean, just within the offense, it could literally be anyone. We have six guys playing different roles, and it could be anyone at any point. Uh, go ahead, standing. Well, Luke, you started off uh, 
being challenged at the Fogo, and then you became dominant again. What changed after the first quarter? Uh, I'd say just kind of adjusting to uh, you know their scheme. Um, you know, we had a, a great communication throughout the game, just like. As Anthony said, just like a lot of older guys, a lot of experience, and like that is really helpful for just like adjusting to what they're doing, making changes. And Coach Kennedy just showed us some stuff on the on the iPad, and uh, we just made some adjustments. Go ahead, gentlemen. Uh, Coach, uh, slow first half for Logan Wisnowski is not typical of the season. How was he at halftime? Was he any different than usual? And just coming out to start that third quarter, so strong. Yeah, Logan's not a man of much emotion um, either way, so he's pretty. <laughs> Pretty stoic by nature, uh, so he, he's always a pro. Um, and you you wouldn't know whether he scored four goals or you know had four turnovers. Um, he's just laser focused um, and has been um, during his whole career. So he was great. Um, he's willing to do anything for the team, uh, just whether it's a ground ball, make the extra pass, get us organized, much like you know everybody. So he was great, and uh, eventually he'll get his opportunities. And usually, you know, when he does, he, he's you know pretty pretty locked in. John, uh, Anthony, you know, coming out of the regular season, you're shooting percent a bit low, but in these four postseason games, I think you shot around 60 percent of the hatch in every game. Has anything felt different coming into this postseason, or have there been any different? Uh, I mean, I think just continuing to work, uh, continuing to work with Logan. He, he shows me a bunch of different releases and just trying to change it up, keep the goalie guessing. Uh, that's been the biggest change. I feel like I was kind of playing like shooting one dimensional, so just changing up my shots and just keeping. Uh, for Anthony, I knew, obviously you guys played the regular season. Any major changes for what they were doing, or what did you see kind of in terms of their adjustment? I mean, I think we knew that they were going to come out. Uh, they're a very good team, credit to them. Uh, their coaching staff always has them ready, too. So uh, we kind of knew that they were just going to come out. They might throw a couple of different things at us. But no matter what, just relying on each other. Uh, we knew Luke was going to do great at the X, and our defense was going to get us the ball. And we kind of just kind of just got to stay true to that. And that's kind of who we are, so um, we know that they're a good team, and we kind of do that coming in. Yeah, I think just, um, you know, exactly what Anthony said, just relying on our guys, like trusting each other, you know, we got a lot of experience, and we kind of, we knew they were going to throw some different stuff at us, you know, we prepared all week, the scout, you know, credit for them, they gave us a great look all week, uh, they always do, you know, Ryan Syracuse, uh, Kevin Tucker, and those guys, they work their, they work their tails off all week, so I think just, um, we kind of prepared for a lot of situations, and I think that just really paid off. We just kind of stuck to our game plan. John, if you could take the same topic. Um, I know Lars had talked a lot about just being quicker against you guys. Was it just tightening the screws, or did you see a lot of tweaks? Um, I mean, obviously, we, we you step back and you're thinking about all right, what are the wrinkles you know that you could throw in in the second game, and um, sometimes the advantage is a little bit if you've lost a game because you probably think a little bit more about well, it didn't work, so let's make changes. And then if you win, you're kind of like, well, do we change a lot? You know what I mean? So you kind of wrestle with that, I think, as coaches in any sport. Um, so things like zone, which they did uh, run, um, you know, we, we talked to the guys about it. And right when you're talking to your team, and I, I told Lars this after, we were like, mix in some zone. Uh, even when Lars was at Brown, like he did, you know, and I was at Harvard, he did a lot of great things, uh, tweak things, would run zone, but then did some very creative things, smart guy. Um, and very creative guys so we talked about the zone we didn't ex know exactly how they play it but we practiced it all week and we kind of every week have that segment uh, we've seen it in a lot of games um, and the sell to our guys was like listen if they run it we've seen it more in games than they've played it in games so sometimes that's a sell you want to make to your guys so they are confident um, but I, I actually thought it was a good wrinkle I thought they did a good job with it um, and I think our guys did a nice job of as the game went on I thought you guys got more comfortable um, and just we kind of tightened some things up. Um, thought about maybe extending pressure, guys getting shut off. Um, thought about maybe uh, in the riding, would they change it up, which they did. Um, they kind of faked the pressure um, early and then kind of got back in. Um, so we had to adjust to that. And then they went straight up to the, the 10 man they used before. So a lot of hypotheticals, and it's always that balance of trying not to over prepare, but also not feeling like you didn't put your kids in a good spot to win. Great. Uh, second row there. Yeah. 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 Ajax. Uh, obviously, the polls were great today, but tell tell everybody about the support of the shorties. I thought they were magnificent. Alex Smith seemed like he came back. He was in like top season four. Yeah. I mean, those guys are awesome. They're someone who I can always look up to, and uh, it's such a supportive group and tight knit, just as a whole defense, but especially 
uh, those four, Bubba, Alex, Higgs, and uh, Roman, you know, they're, they're really all veteran players, all fifth years, and so it makes it really easy to fall back on their experience. They've been there before, they know what to do. Um, and so it just makes everybody's job that much easier when you can look up and you see those guys and have the cool, calm, and collectiveness that they have and just that leadership, it, it makes it really easy to fall for the entire game. We'll go one more question here uh, locally and then jump on the Zoom. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, Coach and Ajax, can you please uh, speak about the motivation and where you get that energy to play that type of defense against a guy like Shelley for the entire game? What, what gets you cranking? Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's a different team this year. Uh, we've kind of been harping on that all year, and we uh, want to keep harping on that. But, I mean, it's the same same guys like Brett, Ray Hill, uh, a lot of those guys experience uh, what, went, what happened last year. And, years prior to that but I mean at the same time it's a game we're trying to uh, reach our end goal and that's when a national championship and so I mean I don't think you can look at it and not be fired up and you get to go out we get another week together um, and we just keep earning that it's awesome you know it's kind of like a reward at the end uh, it's such a tight-knit team that it's really keeping us together like we get another week and that's that's what really keeps us going okay. yeah I just think they're so Sorry. talented that you have to prepare well because you can see what happens if you don't prepare well, like they'll carve you off. And Sean does a great job of getting them organized and putting them in spots, but they're skilled, they're dynamic, they're unselfish, so um, you have to prepare well. If not, they'll shred you. We're gonna jump on. Yeah, I'd say uh, we kind of just been uh, focused on this year, kind of put last year in the past. But I'd definitely say that, uh, you know, that, that shot just like uh, motivates me. I think it just motivates the whole team. You know, we have, as we've been saying, just a bunch of guys that, that came back this year, and just how that that season ended with like all that we sacrificed and uh, what we went through. I think that every day we just get motivated motivated by by that game in general. But we're just happy to have another week together. Patrick Stevens. Here and just taking it day by day. Um, I don't think that this is one big celebration uh, there yet, and I think that we all know uh, what the job is, and we just got to finish that job. So, just continuing to get better. We'll uh, go back to the film and look at what we need to do better and just get get back to work on one day. Yeah, I think uh, last year is last year, and that's all in the past, and we're just really focused on the present right now, you know, just keeping our heads on. And uh, like, like Anthony said, we all have one end goal. And, uh, you know, we just got to finish the job. Been working on a bunch here at the lake. Um, I think everybody has to prepare for, and, and especially with Virginia, they do such a good job. Um, you know, with LaSalle winning faceoffs, and once they win it, man, like even Luke a couple times early, we were, you know, we last time we ran Luke off, and you know, they had some six on fives. We saw that with Brown last week. So this week year or this game, we kept them on, but they do a great job of like. You know, like if, if, you know, like 45 is running the middle of the field and Luke tries to match with him, he'll go back. And then behind him, like LaSalle will get off. So uh, you practice against them, but also it's something obviously we do. I, I would say, uh, Patrick, that was more, when Roman did, it was more Roman just being a veteran guy, uh, to be honest with you, because he was involved in a couple of those. Um, and if you remember the last time we played, he did it and uh, we threw it to Logan and he didn't score, but we got a man up out of it. And I think that's just Roman being crafty and experienced. Thank you.